Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm Sabrina, if you don't know me, and I just thought I would pop in real quick. I'm not really even prepared. My internet is down, so I thought I would take advantage of the time and at least to record a video. Today is Friday and this will make three weeks for me for my micro locks. I did a video three weeks prior on just day one, fresh out, and I thought I'd just jump in and let you guys know how things are going, how I feel, what I think about them, and all that good stuff. But before we begin, please like and subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications as I continue to do more updates. And please, please, please comment. I'd, I'd love to have them. And again, this is totally unscripted, unplanned. I just literally thought, let's take advantage of this time. Like I said, three weeks, this is where I am. So how am I feeling? I have a hair band on to keep my hair out of my face. I was working and I haven't really attempted to do any other styles with it because I want it to lock. I'm trying to trust the process. I'm not manipulating my hair in any way, shape or form. We had two events uh, that I, you know, got a little dressed up for. So I did pull out a little uh, hair gel and just, you know, you know, um, smoothed out my edges here. Um, but on a regular basis, it's not something I'm doing because then it gets a little cakey. I have the hair band on, just to keep the hair out of my face for now. Um, if I go out, that I put a little more effort into it. Um, I have not been manipulating my hair in any way, shape or form. I'm trying to let it lock on its own, let the process work. So let's talk a little bit about how I felt those first few days. The first few days took some getting used to. I felt like the spaces in my in my head or my scalp was just really exposed. I, I, I felt like I had a lot less hair. If you go back and watch a previous video, you will see that my hair is, is pretty thick. Um, at least I thought it was pretty thick and dense, but you know, once you put the, the micro locks in, I mean, your, your scalp is completely exposed and that was difficult for me to get used to, but I think I'm getting used to it. And with this being week uh, three, I, I'm starting to fill in a bit, but you know, one of the one of my thoughts is that well once I go and get it locked I'm gonna have those spaces again so I'm just gonna need to get over myself and get used to it and I would also assume after my first wash and I believe I mentioned a little bit of that in the first video that uh, the the locks themselves will, will start to um, expand make my hair appear fuller. Other than that, that would be my only drawback. Uh, just not having my hair look as full as it normally would if it were out in its natural state. That's been my only issue or, or the only thing that, that's taken some getting used to. Um, I am absolutely loving the freedom. The fact that I literally go to bed, get up, shake my hair out and I'm done. So, so easy. I do sleep on a uh, pure silk, mulberry silk pillowcase. So I do not put a scarf on. I tend to overheat at night, which means if I have something on my head, then my head gets all hot and sweaty. So I don't put anything on it. I literally just go to bed and get up and start my day. Uh, something I'm remembering that I do not have that I am going to pause for just a moment and I'm gonna grab for you. Literally the only thing I do with my hair is, I, I guess I've been spraying it daily. I think I went one night without spraying my hair or scalp and the next day I felt a little dry and itchy. Michelle, my loctician, gave me uh, this. It's called uh, Grass Roots and it's lemongrass and peppermint. It's an anti-itch hair hydrator. And it has worked wonders because prior to getting my locks in, I would shampoo twice a week, probably every three days to keep my scalp from 
being dry and itchy just to re-moisturize it with the water. Um, and that's the only thing that ever worked for me. But she explained that, you know, once I was in the locks and once my scalp was getting air, because it literally was not getting any air in its natural state, that the itch should not be a problem. And she gave me this, um, this is actually um, homemade. She actually put this hair hydrator together um, and the ingredients are organic rosemary and hibiscus flowers, vitamin E, essential oils, lemongrass, peppermint, and tea tree. It smells amazing. And I just, originally I started with this, just spraying the hair hydrator on my scalp and just, you know, massaging it in. And it's actually supposed to be um, antimicrobial. Uh, it actually says natural hair hydrator, apply wet or dry to your hair as needed. Great to calm dry itchy scalp as well as provide shine and vitamins to restore your hair health. And she did tell me, like I said before, it's antimicrobial. So I was really concerned about going all this time without shampooing my hair once I go back and she actually locks me in. And if you didn't see the first video, she started with just little tiny braids first, I think probably up until about here, and then the rest is twisted in. Um, one of the things I didn't realize until I got home and started, you know, just kind of playing in it, is that I can feel where at the ends, it's, I mean, it's relatively, it's pretty soft, but then once you get to the very end, there's this little section. I don't know if you can see it. It almost looks like um, a knot. Like maybe she knotted it. You know, put a knot in it so it wouldn't unravel and I'll have to ask when I go back um, and I can just feel the little knots at the end of the hair and I think I've only had one at the very back of the nape of my neck that feels like it slipped um, but all the rest are in relatively well and of course back here it's like super short so totally understandable. Okay, back to the uh, hair hydrator and scalp hydrator, it's worked wonders. I still have been freaking out a little bit about the cleanliness of my scalp. Um, and I was at my daughter-in-law's shop, which I will also post a video about that. Um, it's called Simply Sage, for those who might be wondering. And um, it's in the Poconos, but that's another, <laughs> that's another video. She had organic rose water and I believe I said this had rose water. Yeah, organic rose. Yeah, organic rose water, along with rosemary and hibiscus flowers. But um, she had just straight organic rose water with nothing else. Um, it says it's a face mist, but I did a little bit of reading on rose water and it's also antimicrobial and it is an incredible hydrator. And I, even, I did use it on my face. And normally every morning I have to put some sort of face lotion onto my face and otherwise I get, you know, like just dry and flake, flaky, especially around my chin area. And I use this and I did neat lotion. It was amazing. Um, so anyway, I, when I saw this in her shop, I thought, hmm, this could work for my scalp as well. So I've been, maybe twice a week, actually spraying the just pure rose water, spraying my scalp to like just really moisturize it and you know, just so it's not dry and to make sure it doesn't get flaky. And this has been wonderful. And so I'll spray my scalp and then I'll make sure my hair gets this because I try not to get my hair too saturated with just the rose water. Um, not that I think it would hurt, but I just don't. I want the, my hair to lock. So again, I'm trying not to manipulate it too much. Um, so between my grassroots hair hydrator and my just straight, pure, organic rose water, I haven't had an issue. I haven't had, excuse me, I haven't had any flaking and it's 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 been great. So I'll just take the headband out. And again, it's, it's just kind of dried this way because again, when I'm working, and I don't want to, um, I don't want my hair falling in my face. I will uh, just pull it back and then, you know, it just kind of ends up in that shape. But, you know, I have 
the flexibility and, and generally if I want it, if I really want to change it or change the way I'm parting it, see it just kind of flips back over the other way just because that's the way it dried. But you know, I'll just spray it a little bit with the um, hair hydrator to moisten it, moist, moisten it <laughs> and um, just make it a little bit more pliable so that it goes where I want it to go and, and then that's it. But it's been, it's been awesome. I don't, it's, you know, I see like just a little bit of frizziness, but you know, just on the edges, but nothing crazy, nothing that wouldn't normally happen with my hair. Um, but I'm, I'm extremely happy. And again, I feel like it's definitely filled out some since uh, day one, obviously. And, and, and if you look like really close, you can see that this is like three weeks of new growth. Some areas have a little more than others, but I mean, it's it's shiny, it's healthy. And actually today, because I was really concerned, again, about not sh shampooing my hair. So I called my husband in and I was like, honey, can you come here? And he's like, yeah, and he came in. I was like, you smell my hair for me? He just kind of looked at me, he just smell it and tell me, does it stink? And he was like, he smelled it and he was like, no. I was like, well, this is not good. And he's like, yeah. I'm like, what does it smell like? And he's like, well, it smells like, you know, shampoo, like you just shampooed your hair. So that makes me feel good. So again, I was just worried, um, especially because the moisturizers I'm applying to my hair are wet and you're putting that in your hair and I'm not using a hair dryer and I realize that, you know, I've, I've got sections of my hair that are intertwined on one another and you know, I was just a little bit concerned about, you know, like maybe a mildew smell or something like that. And he said, no, my hair smells great. So I'm happy. I'm just, I've got absolutely no complaints. I'm really looking forward to it growing and, um, having the ability to, you know, style it more. And when I go back next week, she will actually lock it. Uh, she will do the interlock. So I was under the impression when I first got it done that that's what was going to happen, but that is not her process. So she wanted the lock, you know, on its own, you know, my, my end, I guess, everything except my root, she just wants it to do its natural process. And then when I go back, she will actually start interlocking at the roots. And from that point, she will continue interlocking. Um, I have not nearly done as much research as I should have. Um, I'm one of those people that just tends to get an idea in our head and I'll just jump right in. I mean, I watched a couple of YouTube videos, but for the most part, I was a bit uneducated. <laughs> but I was at that point where Either I was going to cut my hair all off again, or I just needed to get some something done. And I've been thinking about it for so long, so I just decided I'm going to do it. And I did it. And here we are. And uh, I'm extremely happy. The best decision I've made. So I was going to say the best decision I've ever made, but it's, it's up there, definitely. Okay, so I will check back in with you guys. Uh, oh, I should do a turnaround. See, I'm sure you can see still a bit of my scalp back here. I feel like I can definitely feel it. But again, as she, uh, as it matures, then I'm certain it will fill out and be absolutely beautiful. So hopefully it turned out. When I turned around, hopefully you were able to, to get a good look at it. Okay. All right. So we'll talk soon. Thanks. Don't forget, like, subscribe so that you get the updates. Hey guys, I just thought I'd come back for just a minute because as I'm attempting to put together the video for you all, and I'm gonna be doing the original video and editing the original video and this video at the same time, and I was re-watching it and I noticed, well, two different things. Well, one, that this background is a lot nicer. Um, we're now, it's fall, so my wonderful sound effects for my water fountain in the in my front garden is not going to last for too much longer so i wanted to definitely jump back out here and take advantage of it so once it gets too cold i don't want it to freeze so but i am going to i think invest in an indoor water fountain because it is just extremely soothing and now 
that's my clock going off, my little alarm clock for the ocean. You see, I love the whole water thing. Um, but I wanted to, as I was reviewing or about to edit the original video, I was looking at it and I was like, oh my God, wow, look, look how, what a difference three weeks make. I, I just hadn't noticed. It's like watching your your baby grow or, you know, you, you go out and someone else sees your child and they haven't seen your child for a couple of months and they're like, oh my gosh, she's gotten so tall. And you don't notice because you're just literally in the midst of it. Well, when I look back at that video, I was a bit in awe because the original, my, my locks were just so thin and tiny and I felt like I had literally no hair because there was so much scalp exposure. Um, and I mean, and I still have some, but it, it's, it's a big difference from, uh, from just three weeks ago, uh, just how they've changed. And you can obviously see from three weeks ago that my uh, locks have, have started to really expand and and fill out and mature so i just wanted to kind of jump back in here back in my original setting so that you had something to compare it to and uh yeah well i had my glasses on, off then so just a little uh i mean you can see i mean they're just they're they're filling out you know they're they're expanding they're doing their thing now how much more it's going to expand i don't know so we can find out together if you keep watching so don't forget like subscribe um stick with me and uh join me on this journey so again i just wanted to jump back out here in my nice soothing setting because i really like it and i'll try to do it out here as much as i can but again uh the this video was literally a spur of the moment. I've been saying that I needed to get on here and do it and update because before you know it, it'll be next week and I will not have given you guys an update. Um, so, all right. Thanks.